Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Todd Bacasto with Maxar, and I serve as a general manager for SpaceNet. Uh, next slide, please. It's a privilege to be here today to share a little bit about SpaceNet 8, our most recent uh, SpaceNet challenge. Go ahead, next slide. SpaceNet is a collaborative open innovation initiative focused on advancing uh, geospatial applications for machine learning. Uh, this project was founded in 2016 by InQtel's Cosmic Works Labs and Maxar. Today, it's led by Maxar as well as sponsors from uh, AWS, IEEE GRSS, uh, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and Topcoder. There's four main pillars of SpaceNet that have really been there from the beginning of the project. Uh, it was founded to provide easy access to labeled uh, satellite imagery as training data sets. We run a series of prize challenges. The results of those prize challenges are algorithms that we open source, and then we also publish our evaluation metrics. Next slide. We've run eight prize challenges to date. There's the uh, space sense one through seven are represented on this slide. We started with building footprint extraction. We thought that was a fairly basic task, although it, obviously, as many in the audience know, it proves fairly complicated. We expanded by adding uh, geographic diversity in SpaceNet 2. We then expanded into road uh, network extraction um, and then looked at some other uh, modalities of data, including SAR, um, and then and also um, time series tracking data with medium resolution imagery. Next slide. So that brings us to SpaceNet 8. SpaceNet 8 was conducted from uh, July 12th through August 23rd of this year. Uh, and the focus of SpaceNet 8 was to build on past challenges, but also um, introduce some novel concepts as well. So what was different with SpaceNet 8 was instead of a single class, a feature class to extract of buildings or roads, this was a multi-class segmentation problem where you had to extract both buildings and roads. But there were some additional layers of complexity. This was the first challenge where we used pre and post event imagery. And so the infrastructure was extracted from the pre event imagery. Uh, we then looked at post event imagery for flooding to determine uh, which parts of that infrastructure were affected by the flooding. And contestants had to identify that. The data sets were from the Maxar Open Data Program. So it's the same type of imagery that a user would, would access uh, in the case of a natural disaster. And this was featured as part of the CVPR 2022 Earth Vision Workshop. There were $50,000 of total prizes that were awarded as well to the top five teams. Next slide. This shows a little bit more detail on the data sets and the evaluation metrics. So building on prior challenges, we used similar metrics, so intersection of reunion for the building footprints. We also used a metric that InQtel had um, developed called the average path length similarity, or APPLES metric for the road network extraction, and then we looked at the flood attributes as well. All of these were composed into a single score, which I'll, you'll see on the, the next slide. Go ahead, next slide. Uh, so SpaceNet 8, uh, as I mentioned, concluded on August 23rd. There were 292 uh, registrants on TopCoder. Um, of those registrants, there were 36 submissions that were valid scores, and there was over 1,000 submissions. So they, they can actually submit multiple times, and then the best score counts. So what you'll see is that um, for other challenges, like all the other challenges, we, we publish a baseline algorithm. That score was in about 44 out of 100, um, and the top scores were about uh, you know, at least 20 points higher than that. So some quick observations from Space Night 8. We have some papers and other blog posts that will share the solutions in more detail. But we noticed that data augmentation was used to improve the data diversity as well as the model adaptability. And this was both from past Space Night challenges as well as from other referenceable sources where the licenses were appropriate and allowed for that. There was pre-processing to ad address realistic data issues from pre and uh, post event type of imagery. Uh, there were also neural network ensembles that were used, um, and the units were the dominant architecture, which is also the architecture that we used for the baseline that was developed by Oak Ridge. Um, and then also for post-event, uh, for post-processing, there was actually uh, some thresholds that were implemented to avoid false positives. Next slide. So um, if you're interested in SpaceNet 8 or other challenges or want to get involved with future challenges, um, come talk to me after this. And you can also visit our website, spacenet.ai. Um, you can see both the AWS, um, the repo for the data, uh, and then um, you can follow us on uh, social media as well. Thank you very much.